And now, 921 WVTK presents Addison and Essex County, Your Voice with KG. And welcome to Your Voice on this uh, stormy Tuesday with uh, Ken Gilbert. Joining us today is Officer Scott Fisher, Middlebury Police Department. We have Master Sergeant Chelsea Ross of the Explorers and uh, First Class Rappy Desitel. How are you folks doing? Great. 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 Enjoying the weather, are you? Oh, it's been a little while this afternoon. It has been crazy. What a crazy day. Well, uh, Officer Scott Fisher, let's talk about the Explorer program. Uh, how, did, how did it all start? About 20 years ago, I approached uh, Chief Hanley about the program. I was a fire explorer when I was a teenager, and uh, most of the programs had dried up around here. And I approached him, and uh, he said, give it a shot, and here we are 20 years later. No kidding. Wow. It's come a long way, too. It really has. Uh, I've had numbers as large as 18, and I've had numbers as low about five years ago. I had We went dwindled down to about three, but it oh. always rebuilds and rekindles. And yesterday was a busy day for uh, uh, Chelsea and Rappi. We had the uh, parade. I know the explorers uh, do uh, – things like parades, but um, Chelsea, what else do the Explorers do? Um, We can also direct traffic at other parades and and other events around town. Mm -hmm. Um, Do public events like parking at graduations or like a maple run or a marathon or any sort of public safety event that doesn't require 30 officers could take a few more Explorers and Freeze up officers for other duties. All right. Now you, you folks do a lot of things. Uh, what do the explorers do on their, you know, free time, time off? Um, we sometimes all get together and we might go bowling or we might go have a barbecue at a state park or get together at somebody's house and go sledding in the winter time. And we always have a lot of fun together. Well, that's good. Uh, do they, uh, Rafi, do they get to ride along with uh, an officer to get a hands-on look at, you know, everything that happens during a regular officer's shift? Absolutely. And, yeah, we do ride-alongs, and we take notes as well as act as a kind of second view and a witness if needed. So we're there as not only uh, another pair of eyes, but to take the information in and take it down. Record. So you're learning, uh, basically learning everything a police officer knows as you go along. Yeah. I mean, uh, matter of fact, I did that a lot years ago. Back in the, uh, you remember back in the what years? Uh, I'm not going to say <laughs> officer Fisher, but uh, a few years ago, I rode with an officer once, and it was a great, the greatest time I had in my life. I, he said, "Hey, KG, jump in," and I jumped in, and we drove around. It's just a regular day, and I was amazed by you know what the officer does, and it was it was it really felt good. It was a good feeling. It was a good time, and that really made my day. Rafi doesn't tell. I, I've seen you directing traffic at uh, parades and events like that. What else do you do? Well, we, as Chelsea said, we do set up events to free up other officers. But other than events in town, we also assist officers at the firing range. We build targets and various things like that, too, as well as are there on site. Just make sure everything goes smoothly. We have meetings every week just to keep a track of the things that we're doing as well as be notified of upcoming events. Okay, and you also learn about uh, motor vehicle and uh, criminal law, also uh, patrol procedures. And uh, uh, let me see, um, Officer uh, Fisher, 20 years in the making. How many how many explorers approximately have we uh, gotten out of this program? Uh, we presently officers? have one officer that uh, completed our program. Officer Emilio was an explorer many years ago. Right. Um, I have two uh, people that went through my program who are uh, at work for Homeland Security. I have uh, a young man that uh, works for Border Patrol or what was Border Patrol. And I actually had a young lady that was with me uh, who worked in the district attorney's office in uh, Hawaii. Hmm. Um, and so the it gives them a good basis uh, to learn about the criminal justice system as a whole. In other words, they can move to another state if they move, and they can say, this is what I have under my belt, and I can, you know. Absolutely. It's a good cornerstone. And, it, and one of the things that it helps to do uh, for the youth is it really gives them an insight in the career of law enforcement or criminal justice, and they can make decisions on whether that's what they want to do with their life. All right, and uh, so I'm assuming they they all have a chance, as we heard, for for a re, a re, you know a great career as a police officer. 
And that could be in any town, whether, you know, they're trained here in Middlebury or where they're tra- they can go to Hawaii and uh, use what they've learned on hands experience with folks like you to um, get a regular um, full-time job. Absolutely. All right. Anything else, though, that I'm missing here? Um, we have a website. If you're interested in checking us out, it's explorepost613.org. Um, it shows upcoming events, events that we've done in the past, um, possible fundraisers that could be coming up for us, say the basketball game that happened like a month or two ago. Mm-hmm. And it gives you information if you want to come join. All right, so that is uh, explorepost613.org. Exactly, and you can actually link right back to WVTK's uh, website right on our site and listen to this interview by tomorrow. We should put you up on our website, too. Okay, Officer uh, Scott Fisher and Master Sergeant Chelsea Ross and First Class uh, Rafi Desitel. It was uh, great to have you on. We got a little, uh, what's his name? Evan. Evan, hi, Evan. How you doing? Good. Get right up to the microphone there and say hi. Hi. You going to do this, too? <laughs> You going to take a ride with uh, Mommy when she becomes a police officer? Yes. Yeah, good. All righty. Thank right, you well, very much, KG. All right, well, thank, thank you guys you. for uh, stopping yeah, by. You, you. Have, have a great day, and uh, we'll have you on again. Yeah. Great. 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 Sounds great. All righty. And thank you for listening to Your Voice, Addison County and Essex County, New York. 921WVTK at 921WVTK.com. I'm sure another uh, weather update is uh, on the way very shortly here, so stand by for that. Addison and Essex County, your voice with KG is produced for WVTK by Ken Gilbert and serves as a connection to your hometown. If you're a local nonprofit organization, civic group, school, or are involved in the local vibrant arts and entertainment scene and want to spread the word about your organization or special event, then visit 921WVTK.com. Keyword voice.